It allows us to work with JSON files very easily. All we have to do to use some JSON file in our JavaScript file, we just have to import it as usual as native ECMAScript module. And let's see it in action. So in here I'm gonna import some JSON file and accept default export from this module in data variable. And then let's create basic JSON file with a couple of fields, for example, name and age. This object will describe a person. And then just to see what we're gonna get inside of data variable, let's print it out in the console and check it in the browser. And first of all, what is going to happen in a browser whenever it encounters our JSON import right here, it is going to fire a call to our server to fetch this JavaScript module. But since this file is not a valid JavaScript module, Vit has to process this import first and convert JSON file into valid ECMAScript module. And eventually by doing a call to fetch this file in the browser, we're going to get the following in the response. So every field of that JSON object was exported here separately. And additionally, the whole JSON object gets exported as default export right here. And by printing that value which gets exported from JSON module, we will get plain old JavaScript object in a console with properties name and age. And as for transformations which Git is going to apply to our JSON module, we can see that it converts JSON syntax into ECMAScript syntax, which of course allows us to import JSON files as normal ECMAScript modules in our JavaScript source files. And since the default export that we get is normal JavaScript object, we can easily apply the structuring and extract only necessary fields, name and age. And sure enough, in a console we're gonna get value of every field exported separately. So this is how easy it is to work with JSON files in Vit projects.